Hello, watchers. This is GNE. I have audit news. An Arizona Attorney General, Mark Brnovich, on Thursday threatened to withhold state funding if Maricopa County doesn't turn over everything listed in the state Senate election audit subpoenas. We are notifying the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors that it must fully comply with the Senate's subpoena as required by the law. Brnovich, a GOP candidate for U.S. Senate in 22, said in a press release. Our courts have spoken. The, r the rule of law must be followed. The Attorney General's office said it will notify the state treasurer to withhold the state revenue if the county doesn't comply by September 27th. It is our understanding that Maricopa County could stand to lose, to lose more than $700 million a year in state shared revenue. County spokesman Fields Mosley and the Board of Supervisors will be meeting with lawyers to decide their next step. Maricopa County Attorney Alistair Edel released a statement saying losing the state funding would be catastrophic to public safety. As the individual elected to keep the residents of Maricopa County safe and res represent them in a criminal justice system, I will say that withholding state funds from Maricopa County would be catastrophic to public safety and my office's ability to hold criminals accountable and protect the rights of the crime victim, she said. As for the attorney of the County Board of Supervisors, I will not comment on the legal merits of the decision announced earlier today by the Arizona Attorney General. Brnovich's announcement came in response to a request for legal review filed by Republican State Senator Sonny Briley. The AGO determined that the county is violating state law by not turning over all the materials, including routers and network logs required as part of the GOP-ordered audit into the 2020 election. This is GNE. You will hear more in my next episode. This has been John in Exile, no longer GNE.